Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of night prayer or Compline on Wednesday the 12th of October 2022. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for the Rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our Curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. In the calendar of the Church of England, we have three people to remember today. The first of them is Wilfred of Ripon, Bishop, Missionary, uh, 709. Wilfred or Wilfrith was born in Northumbrian, Northumbria in about the year 633. He was educated at the monastery of Lindisfarne, but disapproved of what he judged to be their Celtic insularity. He journeyed to Canterbury and then to Rome. He spent three years at Lyon, where he was admitted as a monk. He was appointed abbot of Ripon and took with him the Roman monastic system and the Benedictine rule, which he immediately introduced. At the Synod of Whitby, his dominance was largely responsible for the victory of the Roman party over the Celts. And when he was elected Bishop of York, he went to Compiègne to be consecrated by 12 Frankish bishops rather than risk any doubt of schism by being ordained by Celtic bishops. There were upsets first with Chad and then with Archbishop Theodore of Canterbury, but the Roman authorities took his side and he was eventually restored to his see. After further disputes, he resigned the see of York and became Bishop of Hexham, spending his remaining years at Ripon. His gift to the English church was to make it more clearly part of the church universal, but his manner and methods were not such as to draw people close to him at a personal level. He died on this day in the year 709 and was buried in Ripon. The second person we're asked to remember is Elizabeth Fry, prison reformer, 1845. Elizabeth Gurney was born at Earlham in Norfolk in 1780. At the age of 20, she married Joseph Fry, a London merchant and a strict Quaker. She was, and she was admitted as a minister to, in the Society of Friends and became a noted preacher. The appalling state of the prisons came to her notice and she devoted much of her time to the welfare of female prisoners in Newgate. In 1820, she took part in the formation of a night shelter for the homeless in London. She traveled all over Europe in the course of prison reform. She was a woman of strong Christian and evangelistic impulse, and this inspired all her work. She died on this day in 1845. The third person we're asked to remember is Edith Cavell, nurse, 1915. Edith Cavell was born into a clergy family at Swarderston in 1865. After life as a governess, she trained as a nurse, ending up working with the Red Cross in Belgium in 1907. On the outbreak of the First World War, she became involved in caring for the wounded on both sides. She refused repatriation and then began smuggling British soldiers from Belgium into Holland. In 1915, she was arrested and brought to trial. Protecting those who worked with her, she was sentenced to death and executed by firing squad on this day in the year 1915. She went to her death calmly, forgiving her executioners, convinced she had been doing her duty as a Christian. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. A period of silence for reflection on our past day.
Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our traditional hymn is spoken. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 31, verses 1 to 5, is, Into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let, let me never be put to shame. <coughs> deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me and make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again. For you are our Lord and God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our short scripture reading is taken from the first letter of Peter, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as, an, as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our Gospel canticle is the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Gracious God, we bring this day to you and lay it at your feet. We ask that all whom we have been in contact with today will receive your blessed grace and love. And we pray now in the silence of our hearts 
for all those people well known to you who we hold in our hearts, be they close or far away. Almighty God, who called our forebears to the light of the gospel by the preaching of your servant Wilfred, help us who keep his life and labour in remembrance to glorify your name by following the example of his zeal and perseverance. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our service of Night Prayer and Compline. Tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, my colleagues will be with you for morning prayer, and then they will, they will also pro, uh, provide a Night Prayer or Compline at six o'clock for Thursday. Have a quiet and peaceful night. Good night.